Hello everyone! So today I thought I would make a video showing you how to make a coil pot. Um, so I'm just drawing my sketch right here. Um, this will just be for the sketches assignments. Uh, this is a rough sketch. Uh, the little oval at the top is like the lip of the coil pot. And then I just added a few of my regular coils. And the regular coils are the ones that are straight across. Now I'm adding my creative coil, which would be spheres. So the circles that I'm drawing are going to represent spheres that I will make out of clay. Now I'm adding another regular coil so that I can put my zigzag coil in between. And for this one, I'm just drawing some wavy lines, one on top of the other. And this is an easy way to draw a zigzag coil and then closing off the ends. Uh, this is just an example of like the front of the coil, but these coils will wrap all the way around the coil pot. Uh, so this is just like one angle of the drawing. Now I'm going to add a regular coil and then a twisted coil in between. So this one is a little bit tougher to draw, but I did want to show you how to do it uh, in case you want to do a twisted coil. So basically I do like lines that overlap. Right now it looks kind of confusing but then you just kind of do squiggly lines and make sure that one is like on the top and then one looks like it's behind. So a squiggly line, draw the curve over. And then if you mess up, it's okay to erase here. I'm using a pencil and paper, but you can use your drawing apps as well. Uh, I've used 3D Paint, Microsoft 3D Paint, and there's also like the little sketch pad that comes with your uh, laptop. So I'm just finishing off this uh, twisty one here and then adding the ends. So that looks like the end of the coil and then fix it up, but we're going to go over it with a marker so it'll look a lot better. Uh, the marker is optional, but I'm just tracing over the lines because it looks a lot better. This is an easy way to get rid of those like pencil, sketchy pencil marks. Drawing over my regular coils, the straight across coils. And then I will go over that twisted coil. And it just makes it look a lot better. It's a lot easier to draw with the marker as well if you do the pencil first. And then, like I said, it's just kind of like a, a wavy line on top of another wavy line. And that is an easy way to draw the zigzag coil. And then my spheres, they're kind of like off the edges. So what I do is I over line it. So I make the line a little bit thicker than the pencil was. And then that is my top regular coil. I do go over all of the marker one more time just to make it a little bit darker, but this, again, the marker part is optional. And I just erased all of the pencil marks once the marker is dry. That makes it look really nice and neat. This would be like a four, basically. Uh, and shake off all those pencil marks. And there's our finished sketch.